You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. We're back. I'm your host, Alex Hudgens, and you are watching Black Tree on TV, your number one source for urban entertainment. It's time to throw it back with the star of The Purge, Oscar nominee Ethan Hawke. This is an interesting concept. I mean, I personally, if I had 12 hours, I wouldn't be killing nobody. I'd be trying to find the money, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> but it's cool to just see, like, uh, to talk about the violence and, and obsession that it seems like Americans have, and maybe other people in the world have with violence. I mean, what do you think about the, the whole concept of? Yeah, what I like about any kind of cool science fiction type story is that it takes you out of your own world and lets you think about the politics of something without worrying about who you're going to vote for, or like if there's some agenda on it. And for me, it's pretty hard to watch this movie and not think about Trayvon Martin, to not think about Sandy Hook, to not think about the way that we relate to what we see on the news or don't relate to what we see on the news, how uh, difficult it is to we get inundated with all this information and we just have to turn off from it. Um, I don't know, I find that part of the movie really fascinating. I mean, ultimately a good genre movie, if it's not scary, if it's not uh, fun to watch, then nobody's gonna watch it. Right, so right. it's gotta be that. But uh, through it all, I, I love it because it makes you think about the politics of it. I mean, we do. It's an extremely violent movie. Yeah. Um, so much so it sometimes reminds me of. Did you ever see a Clockwork Orange? You yeah. Know, they yeah. they make the guy watch so much violence he just can't stand it anymore. Yeah. And there's something about we we as a, we love guns, we love violence, and then we hate it when it happens. Yeah. You know, we have a weird dance with violence yeah. as a country, and I think the movie kind of just puts its finger right on that, and you can think about it whatever you will. It does. It. You, you have an interesting career, because I mean, of, of course you'd be well known you as an actor, but you also wrote novels and do screenplays and, and a director. When, when did you first decide that acting was going to be your path, and, and what gave you the confidence to do that? And then second, when did you decide to add these other elements to it, or was that always part well, of you the You know, the, 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 I think the answer to the first question is the answer to the second, which is that I really Acting wasn't really what I wanted to be doing. I, when I was younger, I wanted, I loved the idea of writing. You know, I, I, I thought, I don't know, it just seemed interesting to me. You know, I kind of wanted to be like Jack London or something and go have these great experiences and write about You know, I wanted to have these like adventures and write about them or something like that. that at 18, that seemed like a good idea. But then acting kind of happened to me. I got this part in Dead Poets Society and it started to open up all these doors and then I just had all these opportunities with that, and I got taught how to do it by really good people. Um, so whatever modicum of talent I might have had, it got watered, you know, so to speak. And then as as time wore on, my other interests crept back in. They were always there, you know, um, but I just started giving myself permission to do other things. Yeah. Well. I, I, I like the way that you like you're, you're handling all these weapons. Did you do any weapon training? Well, you know, in this movie, that you just I mean, they talk about our country's obsession with guns and violence. You, I mean, even I, an actor, like there's a whole new kind of shotgun that's in this movie. That's you know, the movie's like a place in the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so cool. Still ahead, the cast of The Purge talk murder. Don't miss it next on Black Tree on TV. We'll be right back. You're watching Black Tree on TV, only on Soul of the South. 